welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some theoretical as well as mathematical questions on physics. You can call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or full videos on our courses. Let's begin. We need to show that the electric potential at a point P at a distance R from a fixed point charge Q is given by V equals to 1 by 4 pi eta naught into Q by R. Since this is going to be a long question, notice the marks given over here is 4. I'm going to be doing it in a new screen for you to follow all the process that I'll be doing. This is how the diagram will look like. Let potential at point P required due to a fixed point charge Q at A. There are distance AP is equals to R which is this one now we place a point test charge q naught at p let us consider a point b very near to p at a distance of dr such that f p is equals to f b therefore the force between f Q and Q naught B 1 by 4 pi E naught into capital Q into small Q naught R square notice here E naught means permittivity for free space now we calculate the work done in carrying this charge from P to B therefore DW equals to minus 1 by 4 pi permittivity of space which is E naught into Q into Q naught by R square whole into dr. This negative sign that we have indicates the negative work done due to repulsion between capital Q and the test charge Q naught. Similarly work done in carrying to infinity is W equals to integration of dw and this comes to i'll do the calculation so it becomes faster for you to see 1 by 4 pi e naught capital q into small q naught by r square dr whole integration and uh, this is the calculation that will be done in order to show that w equals to 1 by 4 pi e naught into capital Q into Q naught by R. Now we calculate the potential at P which is equals to W by Q naught. Therefore V potential at P equals to 1 by 4 pi E naught into Q into Q naught by R into Q naught. The V equals to Q by 4 pi E naught R joule per coulomb or volt therefore V equals to 1 by 4 pi E naught Q by R volt hence we have proved the question that was given to us moving on to the next question in the next question we need to find the intensity of electric field at a perpendicular distance of 0.5 meters from an infinitely long line charge having linear charge density lambda equal to 3.6 into 10 to power 3 volt per meter we need to find the value of lambda therefore lambda equals to e into 2 pi e naught r therefore lambda i'm putting in the values so that there's no time wasted on this video for you to see lambda equals to 3.6 into 10 to power 3 into 0.5 into 2 into 3.14 into 8.85 into 10 to power minus 12 thus upon calculation it comes to 10 to power minus 7 coulomb per meter and thus this is the answer seems easy let's continue to another sum over here we have an electrical diagram we are given three capacitors of 
3 mu f 6 mu f and 10 mu f which are connected to a 50 volt battery as shown now we need to calculate the equivalent capacitance of the circuit between points A and B let's see how to do this I have written the information that was given to us that is the three capacitance C1, C2, C3 now let's C dash be the equivalent capacitance between C1 and C2 therefore 1 by C dash equals to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 equals to 3 by 6 which is equals to half therefore C dash equals to 2 mu f similarly we will calculate for the others also And now we find the C equivalent equals to C dash plus C3. This is because C1, C2 which is C dash and C3 are in a parallel series. Thus C dash plus C3 equals to 2 plus 10. The C equivalent equals to 12 mu f. This is our first answer. Let's see what the second question was. The charge on the C1. The charge on C1 can be calculated as C1 equals to 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 50 coulomb which is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 coulomb and that's the answer. Let's see another question. This is a very simple question. We are given two resistors R1 equals to 60 mu and R2 equals to 90 mu which are connected in parallel. Notice it's been highlighted. If electric power consumed by the resistor R1 is 15 watts, we need to calculate the power consumed by the resistor R2. Let's see how to do this. I'll do the calculation before so that I can explain you the process. Power of R1 equals to V square by R1. Now we put the value of R1 which is 15 which equals to V square by 60. Now V square equals to 16 to 15 equals to 900 and upon square rooting we get V is equals to 30 volts. Therefore power of R2 equals to 30 into 30 whole divided by 90 that is equals to 10 watts now let's do another difficult question this is a very important question a moving coil galvanometer has a coil of resistance 59 mu it shows a full scale deflection for a current of 50 milliamperes how will we convert it to an ammeter having a range of 0 to 3 amperes let's see what needs to be done lead resistance of RS ohms be shunted with the galvanometer to make it an ammeter in parallel connections thus the potential difference across the galvanometer is equal to the potential difference across the shunt therefore I C1 into R C1 equals to I minus I C1 into Rs therefore Rs equals to I C1 into R C1 by I minus I C1 putting in the values and calculating we get therefore putting in the values and calculating we get rs equals to 1 ohm this is the resistance that needs to be required to shunt in order to convert the moving coil galvanometer into an ammeter with this we come to an end of an another amazing video please like subscribe and stay tuned for more other questions